Hi, this is Bridget B, and welcome to Ready Sex Chat, where I did promise this to be a weekly show, and I'm going to tell you exactly why it hasn't been, and a lot more as to what the fuck has happened. Please stay tuned as I get right into it and all the real, raw, and personal that you are here for. Stay tuned. I'm just going to start off by saying I hope you've missed me because I missed you guys ever so much. I have a lot of explaining to do. Insert Mr. Ricky Ricardo here. Lucy, you got a lot of explaining to do. Uh, I, um, I'm going to be real. I'm going to be honest and I'm going to be real. Something that social media doesn't allow me to do and this is why podcasting has been so important for me because it's opened the doors to a lot of different aspects of my personality that goes far beyond just a chick that spreads her legs open for money. Now this pandemic has been shit. It's been a monster shit. I can't begin to express how over it I am. Now, I want to get into a world of non-political, of non-judgment, because that's not what this show is about. But like I've mentioned before, I'm here to give my opinion, and I choose to have my own platform. And as many of you know, if you don't like it, you don't listen. Much like porn. If you don't like it, just skip. The fact that anyone gets mad about porn and they're on Pornhub.com or, you know, Brazzers.com is baffling because in order for you to see that porn, you had to www.it. So anyway, now I am a tough cookie. I am strong. I am by nature a a wolf. I consider myself very um, independent and I don't, I really don't count on anyone but myself. When anyone does a good deed towards me, I'm shocked rather than, uh, and pleased rather than expecting it, if that makes any sense. So you're taking a woman that is so strong and you're basically put her in a cage for a year, as many of you have experienced. And it's not to downplay the reasons It's not to make anything that has happened less than, as in, oh, bitch, please. You've been stuck inside, whatever. I've been doing this. I've been doing that. I understand. We all have our issues. But my issue is I don't belong in four walls. I belong to be free and roaming. So this has been very difficult. I had to take a mental break. I had to take time and really evaluate what it is that I want. I I didn't want to ever, and I don't ever want to put out a product, um, a piece of me that's not me. So when I was trying to bring in guests and etc., and then I realized that I haven't the branding of this program is all about me you know it's it's I'm giving you my inside world into porn I'm giving you my sex tips I'm giving you you know Bridget B and I felt like you didn't get it um first season into second it's been a lot of what things are going on around me and not so much me and who I am as an individual outside of porn. So while I was sitting and analyzing how I, you know, and getting all my guests in order, I realized that before the guests come in, I want you guys to take a moment and really understand where I've been coming from and why this weekly show turned into when was the last time I posted. (laughs) And I'm human. It happens. And I took this opportunity to really 
not get down on myself as I hope many of you, all of you who are listening are really taking the time to not drown in negativity, to really rise above all of this as best as you can with the tools that you have. And I hope that for someone like me who has been struggling to keep it together, you know, I just, I struggle to keep it together. And because I am of such a personality, it didn't bring me down. Instead, I am here. And I said, no, fuck that shit. I am going to come above and I have some shit that I want to say. And then on the upside of that, on the other side of the coin, I'm an entertainer. You, there's times when you have to just say, fuck it. The show must go on. And that's exactly what we're going to do. I am going to give my sincere apology for not, um, for kind of taking this time to evaluate myself. And we also had to do some serious uh, rebranding, which we're still in the middle of, because the word sex is basically not allowed in any social media outlet. Instagram, um, Twitter is damn near close. TikTok, anywhere to post, I've had to take down the E and just write SX. It has been banned tremendously. And as we know, the censorship that is occurring is dangerous. And I have been, along with my coworkers, we have been censored our entire careers. Um, Any female and any male that is brand new to the industry, to the porn industry, I give them so much praise because I developed my fan base pre-social media. So for at least a solid five, six years, it was going to features. It was dancing at clubs. It was attending conventions. Um, MySpace wasn't really around. I wasn't really using Facebook. Yes, there was Instagram, but I maybe had like, I don't know, 100,000 followers or something, which nowadays it seems like that's nothing. (laughs) Um, and my social media world was lackluster. I didn't know how to take photos because I'm not a social media girl. I am a go to set girl. I am a give me a script performer. So I've had to adapt and it's been a blast and through OnlyFans, et cetera, and through Browsers Plus, getting to know so many of you in a more intimate, personal level and just having fun has been something I would never be able to do had I not been stuck at home for nearly a year. And I'm very excited to see where it grows with all of this um, because now porn is getting a new aspect. However, more and more fans are just starving and hungry for new entertainment. And I'm so happy to see that and I'm so happy to hear it because it was worrisome for a minute. For a minute, you'd think, oh, well, all they want is just some voyeur-like, you know, I'm in my car type of scenes or um, sets. That's not the case. No, 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 no. So many of you are just wanting to be entertained. And I think you guys had the opportunity to see what life would be like without porn. We don't like it, do we? So the more that things get censored, the more that these companies privately held, so they are allowed to do what they want, but the more they censor us by not allowing me to even write the word sex is an issue. It's an issue we're going to have to deal with further down the road in much greater circumstances. This is just the beginning. So taking that with a grain of salt, taking an entire situation that I've been through um, in terms of really getting myself back into who I am as an entertainer, I am here. I am with you. I have been. I thank you for your patience. And on today's episode, I want to talk about how my movies and scenes have changed throughout this circus 
that we call life. Stay tuned. I don't know about you, but I need an alcoholic beverage every afternoon. Today, it's gin and tonic. Yesterday was bourbon. Uh, who knows what it'll be tomorrow. But the question, have, the million dollar question is, how has shooting been recently? What's going on, Bridget? Like, how are y'all doing it? Like, what's happening? Well, it's not exactly 100% back to normal. It's about maybe 50%, 60%. The regulations are taken care of times 10. There is no way around it. Um, all legalities are taken care of and anyone who's shooting goes f- above and beyond what is needed to do because you have to figure it is one of the most intimate uh, work environments other than a hospital, other than, I mean, what else? Where else in this world are you having sex as your job? So, very intimate. For me, how do I put this? I love my job. My job is an entertainer. My job isn't sucking dick. My job isn't, um, you know, licking pussy. It's not just that. My job is to entertain you. My job is to entertain the millions upon millions upon millions to billions of people in this world who go on their internet or on their phone and choose as an adult to watch a certain type of movie. That's my job amongst other things, amongst hosting shows, amongst modeling, the list goes on. As a brand, I have been taking very, very good care of Bridget B. So, why is it that I'm not satisfied? I realize that this is my job, and I the the phrase I want to say is I conform. You know, I I adapt to my environment. I, that's been my survival. That's been how I've made it through X amount of years alive. I can adapt very easily. And when I got my first scene to go back after being in home for nearly six, seven months, it was surreal because you forget So for someone who has done at least, I don't know, 300 plus movies in her decade long career, to say that Bridget B forgot how to do certain things for the movie was shocking. (laughs) I always thought that it was, no, no matter what happens, you always know what to do. I was nervous. I was nervous and I was anxious. I felt as if I wasn't good enough. I felt as if my mojo was off. I felt as if I was overly critical. And I didn't feel myself. Now, I'm sure this can go for so many of you um, going back to work where you're just, you kind of forget social etiquette. Um, So for me, I forgot movie etiquette. I forgot that you have to do this after position one. I forgot that you have to, you know, look at the camera while you're opening up here and make sure that the light is shining here and make sure your pussy is open. I forgot all of that. And I realized that this first movie was so much of a natural moment. It was me 10 years ago. And I giggle because you would never think that that would be something that I would be mentally at, that you wouldn't think that that's where I would be seeing that I'm such a dominant personality. Um, You know, I really, I try and command a room because that's just who I am. But I walked onto set and I was like, hi, I'm here. 
here. And it was such a minimal set. It was just, you know, a lack of an entire crew that's always used used to be there. So I was really shy. And when I was done with that movie, I went home and I was in the car and I was thinking, wow, I'm back. But I'm back in a weird way. I'm back in a very humbled and grateful manner. And I'm back with a new zest, with a new va voom to life, I guess. I will never take another moment outside of my home for granted. <laughs> I will appreciate every single kiss, every single touch, every single caress. I will appreciate every single one. And I think for a lot of my coworkers who even some haven't gone back to work yet because they don't feel comfortable and, you know, to everyone is has their own due diligence as to what makes them feel good and no one has to. For those people... I'm going to be very surprised how it feels if they even want to go back to work. Right now, you have the option of staying home and entertaining, right? But that's not what I am. I'm a set entertainer. I'm a script thriver. I love getting my makeup done for two hours and taking photos and having the end result be what it is. That is something I don't produce at home, um, which is why my OnlyFans and my browsers is very much just me, as intimate as it can get, me and my phone literally on it because that's all I got. I'm not a director and I'm not a producer. So what kind of an entertainer am I now? I have a... A lot of mixed feelings because as much as this, the world of social media censors us even further, does this mean that videos, v- DVDs, could it be possible that it comes back with a vengeance? Because at some point, if this... Twitter world was able to censor the president of the United States and millions more just because of their thoughts and their freedom of speech, something that they've done to us since the beginning of time. Where is it going to go? And are you going to follow as a fan? Are you going to follow as someone who has every right to watch an adult program as a consenting adult. So as we are now getting back into a a different rhythm, and I'm expecting the rhythm to get back to normal pretty pretty soon, because let's be real, um, nothing is a coincidence. I will be very surprised as to see where it all goes. And then where do I want to go with it? Because if I go back to regularly scheduled programming, will I have time to do everything else? And if so, which one am I enjoying more? So these are a lot of questions that are coming up just as things are transitioning slowly but ever so surely back to where we were a year ago in terms of normality. Um, it's very interesting. So anyway, so with that being said... I wonder what's happening with you guys. Um, Twitter is open. Twitter at Ready Sex Chat is wide open like a whore in church. Uh, your comments and everything I always read there. I am still tinkering with Instagram returning our old uh, Instagram. And as things evolve, luckily, I'm here. <laughs> Luckily, no one can take my fucking mic away from me. So with that being said, please let me know what's happening in your world. How are things going? I love reading it. and I love answering you guys. And thank you so much for your patience. 
Sometimes life just happens and I hope that wherever you are, at whatever stage of life that you are at right now, that you can see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you can see that sliver of of light coming through and know that, listen, it can only get better. And with each other's help and with each other lifting each other up, I can't do anything for the world around me. Like it's just, it's just a little me. There's only so much I can do, but I can at least make sure that when I wake up in the morning, I'm happy to be doing what I want for work. Um, I can be a positive asset to my community and that's why I'm here. I, I want to still continue to, to be that positive asset for you. And if you are a new listener, welcome. Take a moment to go back into the archives and enjoy all the previous episodes. We have a big shit show coming. I'm very, I'm, I have a new zest and I'm excited to share more and the porn world ain't going anywhere. I'll tell you that right now. So stay tuned for a lot of more juicy stories and the behind the scenes right here on Ready Sex Chat. Till next time. Mwah. Ready Sex Chat is on the podcast playground.